Hey guys, welcome back. So if you've watched any of my prior videos at all, you know what a proponent I am of tax strategizing, tax planning, working with a tax coach, all those words, right? Versus a tax preparer, meaning a tax preparer is someone who re prepares your return, right? I am so for all of you out there working with someone who does more than that. And so today we're gonna to talk about what that means and why I'm so passionate about it. So a tax preparer prepares your return, talks to you usually once a year, and then goes on their merry way until the same time next year, right? A tax advisor, a tax strategist, a tax coach, whatever you wanna call us, we work with you throughout the year. And we offer, at, at the very least, we're gonna offer you some basic tax planning strategies. So let's talk about what basic tax planning can do for you. Basic tax planning can help you accomplish the following things. It can ensure you've paid enough into federal and state taxes for the year. Calculate what you're gonna owe at year end. Maximize tax credits and tax deductions. And minimize your overall tax liability. So these things sound great, right? But let's talk about why these things, why accomplishing these things are important to you. So first, knowing your tax liability before the end of the year can actually be so beneficial in so many ways. If you owe taxes this year, it's because you made money this year. And doesn't it seem way easier to pay taxes, to pay those taxes now when you have the money that you made compared to paying it in four or even 10 months down the road when who knows what your business, what your, what your cash flow, what the world looks like. If you pay down your tax balance before year end, you can also avoid some potential penalties and interest compared to if you wait till next year. By calculating your tax liability now, you'll actually alleviate 90% of the reason that most of the taxpayers out there procrastinate on their tax return. Right, So many people procrastinate because they know they're gonna owe a check, they know they're gonna owe money, and they just don't wanna deal with it. They don't wanna know what that pain's gonna be. Well, if you figure it out now, and, you know, and, and if you know it now, and maybe even, even if you pay it now, then come tax time, y'all, it's gonna be a piece of cake. There's nothing, you know, there's not much left to do. So doing some year-end tax planning helps avoid the tax return procrastination. Knowing your tax liability now will allow you to know what your cash flow is. And if you're short, right, you, you know you gotta either make some more money or do some saving or cut some expenses. Do you have more cash than you thought? Then you know that you can go out and buy that big piece of equipment that you've been dying to, you know, to purchase. Or you can work with your tax advisor to work on some creative ways of investing that money or putting that money into different places that will save you even more tax. So the third point of tax planning is to ensure that you're maximizing credits and maximizing your deductions. You guys, the money you make, the income that comes in, it is what it is. You know, whether it's a W-2, business revenues, investment income, that's not changeable. That's, that's stuck where it is. But taking credits and deductions against that income is what eventually, or in essence, reduces your taxable income and therefore reduces your tax. There are a number of basic credits and deductions that taxpayers miss, especially when they're doing their own tax return. All right, so we talk about tax advisor, tax preparer, self-preparing. Even if you're not ready for a tax advisor, by at least having a tax preparer working with you on your side, you are going to catch so many more deductions and credits that will save you tax, I promise. So on that same note, basic tax planning is going to make sure you have everything in order to make sure you qualify for all the deductions and credits that you can come tax return time. All right, there, once you prepare your, once you're doing your tax prep, you guys, there's very few opportunities to go backwards and make tax savings um, decisions. But by doing so before the end of the year, you can make sure that you spend the money or complete the forms or open the accounts necessary to take the credits and the deductions that we're trying to qualify you for 
that minimize your tax liability. So overall, all of these different things that we talk about all wrap up into minimizing your tax liability, right? All the, that's the bottom line. That's the end goal. All right, and while basic tax planning touches a little bit on, on the ways to minimize those taxes and the strategies involved to minimize your taxes, decrease your taxable income, all those things, there's actually another step that you can take into advanced tax reduction where it's like a puzzle, you guys. It's, it's a game and it's where we get to really dive in and come up with some creative strategies that really will save you tons and tons of taxes. If you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, go ahead and leave a comment below. And then I highly, highly suggest you head on over to our Facebook community, Money, Taxes, and Finance for Small Business, because these topics are what we talk about on a regular basis and have live trainings on every week. You can access that group by clicking the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and while you're loving on me hard, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video.